Okay, so in this video, we're gonna be making another environment. It's really good for beginners. If you've never done an environment, this will be a good starter for you. So let's get into it. So this is the scene we're gonna be making. We're gonna make this big sci-fi looking alien structure and this right here. And yeah, so let's open up Blender. So we're gonna be using the EV render engine. So click on this little camera icon, switch it over to EV. And then right here, I'm gonna zero out everything. So we're gonna be using volumetric screen space reflections bloom and ambient occlusion for this render and then in your color management make sure you're in filmic and on very high contrast all right so let's model that structure so shift a and let's add a uv sphere we're going to hit tab and we're going to try to cut this thing in half so right up here we want to be able to see through it so click this little these little two squares so we can see through it and then click on face select hit b hit b for box select and just select these just right here hit X and faces and now we cut our sphere in half let's add in an empty so we can put it for our array modifier so add our empty click on our sphere and let's add the array uncheck relative offset click object offset and then select the empty click on your empty and just hit s to scale it up just like that so now we have this and then what we can do is just slide this till we got a bunch just like that now let's add the build modifier right here. And then if you take your timeline, you can see it building just like that, but we don't want that animation. We want right here, we want randomize. Now we got this blocky looking thing. So we can bring it right about there. And now we just need to add a solidify to add some geometry in our thickness. Solidify, bring it down here, and then just bring it to whatever you wanna add just like that. And I'm gonna give it about 20 copies for now. All right, so now we have this. I'm gonna hide these two and we're gonna add our box. So add a cube, scale it up a little bit, and then let's bring it down to the bottom of our scene here so we can see this grid slightly right above our box, so just like that. So right here, Right here is where our, uh, our guy's gonna be standing. So let's bring our two objects back into the scene, hold down shift and click sphere and empty. And we're just gonna bring it, and then we're gonna hit G and just bring it over here. We're gonna hit R twice, make sure everything is selected. Try to position in the general area your camera is gonna be located so we can sort of eyeball where what it's gonna be looking at. Hit R twice. So this is the general layout. Now we're gonna add our character and we're gonna get that from Mixamo. So this is a free character website made by Adobe. You do not have to have an Adobe account to use this. It's completely free. So I'm gonna go over to characters. I'm gonna select this halo looking one. We're gonna click use this character, go over to animations and I'm gonna pick, and I'm gonna type in standing just like that. And I'm gonna pick this guy right here. He's just standing and watching and you can sort of preview how that's gonna look. He's gonna be sort of looking up like that. So we're gonna click download right here on frames a second. I'm gonna pick 24 just for future use. And then we're gonna pick Kadala DAE and we're gonna download it. All right, so let's get back into Blender. We're gonna to go to file, import, pick Kadala. So that's gonna be right, right up here at the top. And then navigate to where you saved the file. So this one's called idle and then we're gonna pick this one right here. So here's our character. In order to move him around, you're gonna click armature and just sort of move him around in the way that you want. Just like that, I'm gonna rotate him this way so that he's looking at the object. And now let's add in our camera. So we're gonna get a camera, sort of position our screen to how we like it, and then hit Control Alt Zero. And now we have that. Now make sure your camera's selected. We're gonna go into the camera settings. I'm gonna change it and we're just gonna widen our focal length to get a wider angle lens so we can get a little bit better. So this looks about right for our composition. We're gonna be using the rule of thirds to make a good composition. I'm gonna scale him down and then rotate him. Whoops, I'm gonna rotate him to look this way. Just like that. And then we're gonna take this guy, we're gonna hit shift, sphere, and then empty. And we're gonna bring him so we can utilize the rule of thirds here and the rule of thirds here compositionally. And then let's go to our array modifier and just duplicate it till it passes up our scene. And I'm gonna squash a little bit here on the empty, click on the sphere, 
and we're going to bring it out some more. So now we have this massive alien looking thing and it's really, really cool and menacing. Now let's get into lighting it. So make sure you're in the EV render engine. We're going to put a light, a point light right here in the middle of our alien right here in the circle. This is going to be our point. One of the points of interest, the two points of interest in this composition will be the center here and our guy here utilizing those two rolls of thirds. Let's hit Z and check out the render. So now we have this, it's kind of gray and that's because our world settings are on gray. So click on this little world and bring it all the way down just like that. All right, now let's take our point light, go to the settings. We'll make it blue and we're going to make it 30 on the brightness. So this area is completely white. Actually, sorry, let's make this red just like that. Cool. Cause we're going to have this sort of color difference, red over here, blue up in here. So let's get another light right here, point light, bring it up just a little bit. We'll move that just a second. Let's go to rendered. We'll make it blue and we'll bring it up just like that. Now we need to add some volume. So let's put in a cube just like that. And we'll scale it up till it passes up our scene. Let's add a material to that cube, which is a principled volume. So click new principled volume. Let's go up here to the shading preset. Let's go to our camera view right here. Switch it from surface to volume. And then on a density, 0.1 for the density. And now let's check out the render. Okay, it's starting to look better. We need to add some lighting in this area and some materials. So click on your big old alien sphere. We're going to add a metallic shader to it, just like that. And it's starting to take shape, but we're not done yet. Let's take our red point light and duplicate it so we can have some lighting throughout this object. Just like that, we're going to bring it down here. Okay, now let's click on that point light here and bring up the radius quite a bit. And then let's make it a strength of about 50. And let's put it inside of our object. Bring it up just a little bit right around this area now. So since we brought up that radius, it's starting to cover the area of this object here. So let's bring it about maybe strength of 70. There we go. Now it's starting to work. Now let's click on our alien sphere, go to the shading and make it bring the roughness down a little bit, just like that. And then let's add a material to this floor, just a simple principle. And let's add, let's bring down the base color a little bit, make it metallic. There we go. So we pretty much have this done. If there's anything else we want to add, let's duplicate this light here, hit shift D, bring it down there to make it red. Add to that, add to that look. And then last thing on our color management, there's one more thing because I still don't like the contrast in this scene. So I'm going to go over here to the color settings. You're going to go to the color management settings and on gamma, just bring it over here to the left until it starts looking around the way that you want it to look. And then our first point light, it's a bit too bright. It's a little too extreme. So we're going to give it maybe a strength of 10. And now we get some good color in this, but it's still our point of focus. Just a couple minor tweaks. Let's take our armature, scale it down a little bit. And then let's also, let's add some depth of field. So go to your, e your EV settings, click depth of field, then click on your camera. And we're going to go over here to the depth of field settings, bring your F stop down. And then our focus distance, we want to zoom in on our guy and play with the focus distance until we are focused on just our character. And then we'll bring our F stop all the way down till we get a little bit, get some good blurring. It's too much. Just a little bit of subtle blur on our character, just like that. Then bring our F stop down some more. So it just makes it look like it's far away. Just like that. And then we'll hit render, render image on EV, and let's see how that looks. So there you go. You made a really simple sci-fi render with EV. So you can take that, have some inspiration, and be creative and make a different one. If you make any of these, send it to me on Instagram. My Instagram's linked at the top of the description. So yeah, thanks for watching.